Hi, I'm Dr. David Green, CEO of the Florida Pain Network, where we connect those in pain with pain providers across the state. Today the topic is, what is the difference between facet injections and epidural injections in pain management? Well, to individuals who have had those different types of injections, that may be an easy question to answer. But for most people, it's not. There are some basic differences between the two injections, and there's also actually a few similarities. So let's start with facet injections. Here's a model of the spine. This is looking from the front, okay? These are the bone, bones called the vertebrae. These are the disc spaces. And then this is the sacrum from the front, all right? From the back, you have these bony protuberances called the spinous processes. You can feel those on your own back. You have the transverse processes, and these are facet joints. They're small, they're thumbnail sized joints. They have cartilage, just like the hip and the knee, and each one contributes to allowing us to have a really good range of motion of your spine. The problem is they're prone to arthritis, just like the hip or the knee, okay? A facet injection is a very good non-operative method of relieving pain coming from facet arthritis. So it's done as an outpatient. Each level takes maybe 10 minutes, okay? It can be repeated every few months. And what the pain management doctor will do is they'll look at your studies, x-rays, MRI, they'll do a physical exam, and they'll basically determine what levels are potentially causing your pain. And usually it takes more than one injection to help substantially, because if you have arthritis in one facet joint, usually you have it in one, two, three. So it's usually multiple. It's great, isn't it? So the pain doctor will numb up the skin and the soft tissues down to these areas and with real-time x-ray fluoroscopy they'll inject medicine in the joint and potentially around it. If they inject it around it that's a medial branch block and those can work very well for facet arthritis pain too. So these injections work well over 75 percent of the time. They can provide months of pain relief at a time and they also give a diagnostic benefit and that if you do an injection, say at the L4-5 level, then, and it works, works well for pain, the pain doctor can say, aha, that was your right L4-5 level that is causing your arthritis pain. So when it wears off, that can be done again. Or there's a great procedure known as a radio frequency ablation that can be done that kind of burns the area around the joint, and that can relieve pain for six to 18 months. It's really an excellent procedure. All right, so that's a facet block. The symptoms of, of facet arthritis are usually back pain, pain that radiates to the sides of the back, maybe into the buttock area, around to the hip, but it doesn't cause pain that shoots down the legs. All right, that is sciatica. So let's talk about epidural injections. When you have sciatica, usually it's coming from a disc herniation, which is shown here in red. All right, it's pinching on one of these nerves as it tries to get out from the spine. Okay, and when that sparks up inflammation, it's termed sciatica. And in this case, let's say this is the L4 nerve root, it's going to cause pain. Uh, this is on the right side of the back that shoots down the right outside of the thigh, usually onto the outside or front of the calf, and then on the front of the foot, maybe a little bit towards the outside of the foot. You know, not everybody walks out of a textbook, okay, but that's what the pain. Um, is like when you have sciatica. It's searing, it's burning, it's really annoying. Okay, so an epidural injection can work really well 75 to 90 percent of the time and the steroid medication is placed right around the area of where it's being pinched. All right, it doesn't fix the problem. That's one of the similarities with facet blocks. It's great for suppressing pain, it doesn't fix the issue. It can suppress pain and inflammation, and hopefully the body will disintegrate this red piece, the, the disc herniation, while the pain relief is working. All right, there's three different kinds of epidural injections. The term epidural is because the spinal cord as it comes down, stops about L1, and after that it still looks like the spinal cord, but it's called the dura, the dural sac. So epi means around, so it's around the dural sac, epidural. That's where the nerve roots come off, and they are now in the epidural space, and so that's why the steroid goes in the epidural space, okay? 
So the similarities between the two is that they're both usually done with steroid medication and numbing medicine. They both work exceptionally well, like I said, 75 to 90% of the time. The epidural injections are usually done as a series. It can be three, a series of three, two weeks apart. And then the facet injections are not usually done that way. But each one can be repeated every few months. Okay. Now, if you live in Florida and you're having significant back pain or sciatica, pain management can help you avoid depression, avoid disability, get you back to work, help you to be able to play with your kids. And you really don't have to just grin and bear it. You shouldn't. All right. Check out FloridaPainNetwork.com. There's a lot of uh, education on the site. There's also, if you click on "I Need a Pain Doctor," you just put your zip code in. It'll tell you the ones that are closest to you. All right, thank you for watching. I'm Dr. David Green with the Florida Pain Network. Your pain stops here.